What's up, you guys? It's Mika here. Meek and Meek, 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 Meek from Cosmic Warrior. All right, so today I'm going to be um, doing a, well, not a reading, but I will be letting you know if the person that you're dealing with, will they be contacting you in any type of form between now and the end of February, guys? Okay, so February 15th to February 28th. Okay, so this is for all my signs here. Uh, earth and air. So this be for my earth and air. Let me put you guys over here. And fire and water. Okay, so this is for all of you guys. Okay, please be sure to like the video, comment. That is important, guys. Um, I don't know I always say that, but. It is important to help my channel grow here, help me and my channel grow, and for me to keep putting out content. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell there so every time I upload that you guys will be one of the first ones to receive it there, okay? So, I'm going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces there, okay? So, this one, um, I, I'm not going to say if the story fits. If it don't fit, then it does fit because these are actual um, possible predictions here, okay? So I'm going to actually be using a combination of my pendulum here, okay? Get my little pendulum. I love my little pendulum. It has the seven chakras here. Yeah, and it actually comes out here too. Let's see, got pendulum. Yep. So, pendulum. So I'm going to be using a combination of pendulum and tarot cards to let you know if the person that you're dealing with, will they be contacting you, okay? So if you guys are not familiar with the pendulum, if it goes back and forth, then that's a no. If it goes in a circle, then that's a yes, okay? And I'll be using my tarot cards here uh, for clarification to let you know, um, you know, if I need to use to clarify, let you know if and why they are not uh if they're not contacting you or whatever you know for clarification okay if i need to okay so starting with aries here okay so my aries will the person that aries is dealing with uh will their person that they're dealing with will they be contacting them before the end of february Okay. Well, that's a small no. It's not a really big no. It's not a really big no. So, um, I'm not showing that they're going to be contacting before the end of February, but let me pull a couple cards here. Okay. Okay. So it looks like right now, okay. So we got nine of, uh, we got nine of pentacles here. So, um, yeah, so right now it looks like they are with the Nine of Pentacles um, and the Seven of Cups here is letting me know that they, they may not be contacting you now. It may be sometime after February, but this is, this is showing me right now that it's like like some commitment issues. That's why they're not your person's not contacting you right now. Okay, so they could be dealing with other people. Uh, they may have like you know many you know they may have many options. And then you know I'm also showing that they're really focusing on themselves, like their own pleasures here. You know, it could be a little selfish, um, but they're focusing on their money and you know focusing on you know pleasuring you know basically you know indulging in pleasure, pleasuring themselves. You know, for selective you guys, some of them could be on vacation. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they're not contacting you before the end of February. But, you know, it was a small no, so they may contact you. Let's see here. Yeah. And I'm also seeing that Five of Pentacles that, you know, it's a little anxiety there, too, as far as maybe contacting you. So, you know, they may contact you sometime, you know, within the next, you know, sometime in March, perhaps. You know, um, but right now I'm showing that they do have like some commitment issues and, you know, uh, and then they have it's some worry here. Like they may not know how to approach you. Like they worry and have a little anxiety areas and they may not know how to maybe trying to figure out a way to, 
you know, come in and, and, and actually communicate with you guys. All right. All right. So next is um, we got Aries, now Taurus. Okay. Will the person that Taurus is dealing with, will they be contacting Taurus before the end of February? Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely a chance. It's not a really big yes, but it's definitely the energy is telling me, the energy is telling me that your person will contact you, Taurus, before the end of February. Okay, so let's see here. Pull a couple cards. Yeah, so they're, they're definitely going to contact you. Um, they definitely got something to tell you here with this Princess of Swords. You know they, they're gonna come in and actually maybe you know speak their speak some truth there or you know or or relay some type of message that maybe they've been wanting to tell you which is actually this so towards your person may actually come in and tell you that you know they actually see um themselves with you like they may want to partner up with you you know it could be business or romantic but they actually see themselves you know building with you you know so you could be dealing with the fire sign as well um, or herb sign okay but yeah so i definitely see them coming in with some type of contact before the end of february there and it is possibly could be by telephone like they actually may make a phone call and if it's not a phone call it could be um like a voice message or something but they're definitely going to want you to hear their voice you know actually hear their voice like it's not going to be like an email or a text message or something like that Okay. They're going to want to speak it instead of typing it. Okay. All right. So next is um, Gemini's. Will the person that Gemini is dealing with, will the person that Gemini is dealing with, will they be contacting them before the end of Feb uh, February here? Okay. Yeah. So the, it's, it's, it's it's a chance the energy is telling me that um it's definitely a highly it's a high chance it's it's not i'm not going to say 100 percent. it's a high chance that your person is definitely going to be trying to contact you uh gemini's uh before the end of february um they may be contemplating you know they may be really thinking about it uh so it's definitely a high chance here yeah so it, it's a high chance but your person right now um, could be feeling like they, they have a lot on their plate right now. They have a lot on their plate right now. Um, they could also be feeling like burdened, you know, with some other responsibilities perhaps, uh, with the 10 of wands here. Yeah, they could be, you know, they, they could be dealing with, uh, they could have a lot of projects going on or they could be dealing with a lot of other things. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, you know, also, uh, they, they could feel like maybe the connection, um, is, uh, could be possibly a waste of time and they could just be kind of like going back and forth, maybe have some type of conflict of not knowing, uh, whether to actually put towards the, you know, the connection or not. Okay. So I say it's a high chance. I'm not going to say all the way, um, that they will contact you, um, but I, I can almost say even like 50-50, you know, because right now I'm showing that they are dealing with some things on their part. So it may not necessarily be you, Gemini, as to why they're not contacting you. But I also see that they are kind of going back and forth about, you know, whether they should keep putting the energy back here, back, uh, into the, the connection here. All right. So that's what I see here. All right. So next is uh, Cancer. Okay. Will the person that my cancers are dealing with will they be contacting cancers before the end of february okay yeah that's a that's a big no so yeah i'm showing no that your person does not have any plans on contacting you guys before the end of february here um so let's take a look here. Mm. Okay, so your person, okay, it looks like they're trying to maybe 
strengthen their bonds with their family. They're, they're trying to come into, you know, they're trying to work on coming into their independence. You could be dealing with the water sign or another earth sign here uh, with the queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. And for some of you guys, I'm showing like this person may even, you know, have like some type of envy towards you, you know, as well. Okay. Uh, they also may have felt like they were codependent on you and now they're trying to like come into, you know, like their independence right now as to why they, they're not planning on contacting you guys. Um, but, you know, for some of you guys, I can actually see maybe down the line, you know, somewhere down the line. So maybe somewhere within maybe like the next, you know, three months, perhaps um, you could be dealing with the air sign. I have four swords here as well. I got four of swords. So, yeah. So like your person, like their focus is on, you know, maybe spending time and strengthening their bonds with their family or maybe their kids. And they're trying to like gain their independence back. So this could have been like a codependent relationship, like they felt codependent on you. Uh, within this relationship with you, uh, cancers, but I also still show four of swords. So, you know, they, they may, even though they may not contact you before the end of February, it may be somewhere within the next three months. Um, because I do show that they do want to maybe still keep, keep some type of connection with you guys. Like they still may want to come to some type of amends or, you know, compromise or whatever, um, uh, or may just simply call to get like, you know, some closure perhaps, but they, I do see that they, they don't want to totally leave it off, you know, just on a bad note. They, they like they do want to come to some type of truth still, okay? And that's what I kind of see here. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and shuffle for my Leos here. Chicago and it is just snowing. It's coming on down, guys. We're supposed to be getting up to 14 inches. I think it's gonna be snowing to like two in the morning. All right, so Leos. Will the person that my Leos are dealing with, will they be contacting them before the end of February? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's a chance that they're going to contact you. Um, almost like a maybe, like a maybe here, like, but it's definitely a chance um, that they, they will be contacting you guys before the end of February here. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on. You could be dealing with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or uh, Virgo here or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so your person right now, um, it's a small yes, like I said, but it looks like your person could be, you know, they, they it looks like their focus is maybe on like money right now. Um, like like they could be having like some issues, maybe revolving like finances right now. Okay, so they're they're definitely dealing with with maybe possibly like some struggles around that. So they they that that could be like as to why like they may or may not contact because really they're trying to like come up on their money right now, you know, um, and and deal and, and maybe deal with you know like family conflicts. Perhaps, you know, they could be dealing with maybe like some family issues behind closed doors and maybe that's why um, they may not have contacted you yet. Okay. Um, and we got, which girl? but, you know, like I said, it's a small percentage that they will call you because um, we do have Princess of Wands here. Okay. So Princess of Wands is, is letting me know, yeah. So it's it's a little immaturity on their end. It's a little immaturity on their end. Uh, 
but if they do contact you guys before the end of the month it, it's probably you know either it's because you're a last resort or they may be bored you know like if they do contact you for in february leos it's because they're bored um but they're definitely thinking about you know calling you guys but they, they're definitely you know focus on getting their money up right now Let me get one more card here yeah and then we got ten of uh we got ten of swords here yeah so also um yeah yeah okay so yeah so basically yeah so the reason why i was showing like a small yes is because for some of you guys they actually had to leave someone else you know, so they have to leave someone else first, Leo's, before they actually able to come in and have some type of connection with you and actually contact you. Okay, so that's what I kind of see here. Yeah, so once this person leaves the other person, they will be contacting you. So, you know, it could be somewhere, you know, uh, you know, within the next month, perhaps like the next month or two, you know, once they get their money back up and, uh, you know, once they actually let go of that other person. You know, but I'm also showing it some immaturity. So they may call you because they're they're bored, like before the end of February. But it's some immaturity on their side too. You know, as to why it may be taking them a while to call you guys or to contact you guys. All right. So that's for my um, that's for my Leos. All right. Next is um. Next is uh. Let's see, Virgos. Okay. Next is Virgos. All right, will the person that my Virgos are dealing with, will the person be contacting them before the end of February? Okay. Well, that's a small no, it's a small no, so your person may be possibly really be thinking about you guys, Virgo. So they probably could have you on their mind quite a bit. Um, Cause that was definitely a small note. So it's probably a possibility that they're going to contact you guys, but not before the end of February. Okay. Eight of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign. Yeah. So we got eight of cups here. Okay, so your person, um, so right now it looks like that there could be, you know, had a, you know, maybe just withdrew for a little bit from the connection. So possibly, you know, maybe they needed a, a break, um, you know, like, you know, to spend some time like with their selves or in their own energy or something like that. Um, but yeah, I also see like your person, so that's why it's a small no, um, because also like your person is trying to move on from you guys and they have actually having a hard time from actually moving on from you guys, Virgos, um, moving on from the connection. That's what I kind of see here. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got seven of, uh, seven of wands in reverse. So yeah, this is basically letting me know that they're having a that they're thinking about moving moving on from the connection, um, but they're having a hard time. And then with the seven of wands in reverse, that's uh, you know they're they're definitely thinking about you know um, possibly just leaving the connection here. That's what I kind of see. That's why it's a small no. Um, so it's it's a possibility that they may contact you, but I don't see it happening before the end of February. Okay, and if they do contact you guys after February, like it's a it's a small chance that they can contact you guys after February, but it would be because, um, it would be because um, you know that they may have came to some clarity after withdrawing from you guys. Um, you know, after they got a chance to like retreat, you know, and, you know, maybe gain their energy back or whatever and actually had some time to, to think, um, you know, yeah, so that's what I kind of see for you guys. Let me get one more. Yeah, your person has commitment issues too. So with that seven of cups, your, your person is maybe not ready to settle down at this moment. So 
um, you know, from what I kind of see is that they're not going to contact you guys before February, but um, it could be sometime within maybe the next six months, possibly. That's what I kind of, I'm kind of feeling. Um, that's what the energy told me, a small no. So, um, you know, once they actually decide to commit to a relationship, they're not ready to commit to a relationship right now. They're not willing to fully commit to the, uh, the connection right now. Okay, so that's what I see for my birthday. All right, so next is uh, Libra. All right, my Libra. person that my Libras are dealing with, will they be contacting Libras in the before the end of February? Okay. That's that's a really big no. Um so let's see here. Okay, you could be dealing with another air sign Libras. Okay. So they don't really see they don't really see you the reason why they're not contacting you guys before the end of February Libras is because they don't see themselves, you know, in this connection. Like they don't they don't vision themselves like with you. Um they 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 looked at the bigger picture and maybe realized that, you know, um that maybe this connection is maybe not worth their time or energy here. Uh, um, some of you guys I'm showing um, it's like they're not contacting you guys Libra but it's like they're trying to keep tabs on you it's like they're trying to you know still want to know like your whereabouts or maybe if you're with someone else or you know but I also see like uh you know like they could be like it's like they want to like what I kind of see is like maybe deliberately like hurt your feelings so by not contacting you they may feel like oh that's hurting your feelings or something like that okay and that's what I kind of see here um your person has a big ego too with this emperor, okay, Libras. So I mean for some of you guys they can they can probably see themselves with you, but they're not going to contact you. It's like they can probably see a relationship with you guys, but they're not going to contact you. Okay, because of because because of immaturity here, like it's immaturity. Um you know, like they're acting like a kid right now, basically. Um, and it because of their ego. Like, your person has a really big ego, and that's why they're definitely not contacting you. But it's like they're trying to keep tabs on you. Like, they want to know that they may or may not be being successful. Like, Libra, you could have blocked them or something like that. Or you could have blocked them on social media, your phone. And, but it's hard for them, you know, it's hard for them to actually you know, keep tabs on you and actually what's going, what's going on, but they're definitely trying to, but they want to know because they do see themselves with you, but they're not going to contact you because of their ego, their ego here. Yeah. So they see themselves with you, but with the emperor in reverse, they, their ego is, is stopping them from contacting you. But this hacker in reverse, that means that they're being unsuccessful with being able to keep tabs on you. So that's just telling me that you probably did block them. <laughs> so, or some type of block of communication. So that can also be a reason as to why they can't contact you because you, Libras, like you, you guys may have actually blocked this person. Okay. As well. All right, so next is, um, 
Scorpios. Yeah, Libras, it's like your person sees themselves with you. They don't want to contact you, but they want to know. They want to watch you to make sure that maybe you're not, you know, being with anybody else, though. And that's what I kind of see, which is kind of crazy, you know. All right, so Scorpios, will the person that my Scorpios are dealing with, will they be contacting them before the end of February? Okay, Scorpios, the energy told me no. The energy told me no. Um, all right, let's, let's see why. Oh, they have a fear here. They have a fear or they don't have a way to contact you. <laughs> you know, this could also be like a third party. Like your person could also be, you know, dealing with someone else. And that could be kind of interfering. Interfering with them actually uh, contacting you too. So they could have a fear because maybe they don't know the outcome if they if they do contact you. Um, or it could be, like I said, this person could be in a, another relationship and this person is like physically or, you know, you know, restricting them from contacting you guys. Like they, it's someone else, you know, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic. It could even be like a family or best friend or friend and their ear interfering, coming between you guys saying, no, you know, don't contact Scorpio. So someone is kind of, you know, in their ear too. That could be why they're not going to contact you. Yeah. You could be dealing with the air sign or another water sign. All right, so we got six of swords in reverse here. Yeah, so for a few selected of you guys is you know, um, they could be emotionally unavailable. Like they could be emotionally unavailable. That's why they're not contacting you guys. Um, or because they can't see you. Like this person may actually been wanting to see you, but they're not able to actually see you. So, you know, they just not gonna contact you. Uh, and then, you know, like I said, they, they could be dealing with the third party too. You know, like this person can actually be in a whole nother relationship too for some of you guys. Like they could be, you know, like getting married or, you know, they can have many options. So they're not actually contacting you because, you know, they have plenty other options basically. You know, like like their, their choices come in as an abundance. So this could be like a charming person or, or a player or something like that, but they definitely have choices coming in, you know, at an abundance. So, you know, you're kind of like on the back burner there. You know, um, and then for a small amount of you guys, like this person may actually, you know, they're definitely not gonna contact before the end of February, but for a few selective of you guys, they may eventually contact you sometime within the next like three to six months, you know, you know, because, you know, they want to still maybe keep some type of connection or something like they still want to keep some type of friendship possibly. Yeah, so that's what I see. All right, Sagittarius. This is for my Sagittarius. person that Sagittarius are dealing with, will they be contacting Sagittarius? Will the person that Sagittarius is dealing with, will they be contacting Sagittarius before the end of February? Will they be contacting Sagittarius before the end of February? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty big yes. Yeah, that's a really big yes. Spirit, spirit, thank you. Energy, thank you for letting me know that. Yeah, so... Yeah, so your person definitely, 
is going to contact you before the end of February. And if they don't, it's like they really are holding back. Like they really, really want to contact you. They're really probably dreaming about you, thinking about you, obsessed with you, addicted, you know, but they're, you know, they, they're holding back. And so if they don't, um, yeah, so this person has a deep connection with you. Like they feel like, you know, they have an emotional connection with you. You know, so when they do call, like they may call and they may actually be, when they do call, they're gonna be like very emotional here, you know, and they, they probably feel like they do have an emotional connection with you as to why, you know, they're gonna contact you here. Okay. But just this bird. Um, they also, yeah, so they're, they're gonna call and let you know like some truth here with this justice card so they're gonna they're gonna realize they realize that they have a lot of deep emotions for you and when they call they're gonna be emotional at the same time they're gonna be actually telling you maybe how they truly feel like this this represents the truth actually coming out here so the truth is gonna come out and that truth is gonna be that they really have feelings for you guys they really have feelings deep emotions there yeah and and you know so and they want to solve you know, come to some type of solution here as far as, you know, whatever's going on. Like, they're going to actually want to communicate and talk about it. Yeah. They want to basically work it out, basically. Yeah, so Sagittarius, is, that's actually good for you guys. Your person is definitely, and like I said, if they don't, like, they, they're really holding back, but, you know, the energy, that's really big energy, saying that they're, you know, you're definitely going to get some type of phone call, text message, so to get social media messages, whatever. They may even send the message through somebody else. You never know. But they're going to find a way. All right, so uh, Capricorns. Is the person that my Capricorns are dealing with, um, is the person that Capricorn is dealing with, will they be contacting Capricorns before the end of February? Okay, so it's a yes, not a really big yes, but, but yes. Yes, so I do see a small yes. Um, so they, you know, it, it's, it could be, you know, definitely a chance of them calling. I do see them actually contacting you, Capricorns, before the end of February here. Um, you know, we have the star here. So they're going to come in because they want to actually maybe start over with you. Like they still, you know, they still basically got hope like that, that the connection can work out here. So they're going to want to actually have some type of like, you know, like maybe start over with you guys, um, you know, and, you know, and they, they actually want to, you know, like they're going to call because they're going to also want to know if you still have like the same feelings possibly. Like they want to know if you have the same feelings as them possibly. Like they're going to want some type of clarity here as to why they're coming in because they definitely still want to make it work out with, with you guys. Okay. Yeah, so the magician here, yeah, they definitely want to make this a real thing. Like, they definitely really want to make this a real thing, like this connection here with the magician. Um, first, first, a few of you guys, if they don't contact before the fe February, they may contact, before February, they may contact a little bit later, maybe later in March or something like that. But it's only because, you know, they could be focused on work or something like that for uh, a few of you guys here. Okay, but it's definitely um, a yes, though, as far as them contacting for, you know, before the end of February, because they definitely, they definitely still want this here. Yeah. Yeah, and when they come in, when they come in, like, yeah, so they still, they're going to call, they're going to come in, Capricorns, and they're going to let you know, 
you know, how they feel and, you know, as far as, you know, wanting the relationship to still be able to work and they're going to want to know how you're feeling here. And they actually may try to, like, woo you in, too, with this Four of Cups. They may actually come in and, and woo you in or give you a gift, you know, like in a form of a gift to maybe apologize or make up or something like that. Okay. So that's what I kind of see here. All right. So, uh... that my Aquariuses are dealing with. Will they be contacting my Aquariuses before the end of February? Will they be contacting my Aquariuses before the end of February? Okay, yeah, that's, that's, um, so no, they won't be contacting before. Um, Energy told me that they will not be contacting before the end of February here. Um, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, so this person um, is a manipulator. So this person could not be kind, you know, this this person could have probably like been on a lot of games here. Or they could have even felt like you guys were on games as to why they're not, they don't want to contact you. Um, this is a, uh, you could be dealing with an air sign, fire sign, water sign. Uh, but they, some of, for some of you guys, they could feel like maybe you were on games or maybe trying to manipulate and control them. So that's why they cut off contact and don't plan on calling you guys. Um, or, you know, uh, or they're trying to manipulate you, you know, um, you know, with the Knight of Swords here. Like they could be trying to like manipulate you and control you as to, as to why, you know. They could be trying to like use that as a form of a punishment or something like that to control you so why they're not calling. You know. Um that they're not gonna call. Yeah, so yeah, for some of you guys they could probably like I said, felt like that you that you were on games, but I'm also showing with the eight of cups that they're definitely um planning on moving on. You know, for some of you guys they could have like ghosted you. Like they could have ghosted you and just not, you know, talk plan on contacting you, you know, ever again, but share it in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, so with this chair in reverse, like with all these cards are showing is yeah, your person does not plan on contacting you. Um with the chair in reverse, this person gave it gave up on the connection here. Okay. Um, they gave up on the connection and they no longer want to put energy towards it. Um, and they could have felt like, you know, I mean, they could have been on games too and you could have possibly, you know, um, ghosted them Aquariuses. They could have been on games with trying to manipulate or even vice versa. Like they gave up because maybe they felt like you were just a manipulator and playing games with them. And, um... Yeah, and they're definitely trying to move on from the connection here. So that's what I kind of see here. All right. Last is uh, Pisces here. Last is Pisces. the person that my Pisces are dealing with will the person that Pisces is dealing with will they be contacting them before the end of February hmm. so I'm showing almost like yes and no so it's like maybe like 50 50 so that you know the energy was basically telling me that, that possibly your person could definitely be going back and forth in their head over and over again. Should I contact Pisces? Should I not? Should I not? 
should I, should I, should I not? So this person probably could be sending text messages, like they could be writing text messages and never sending them, possibly, you know, and they change their mind the last minute or they can pick up the phone and they're about to dial your phone number and then they put the phone back down and change their mind. That's what I'm kind of thinking here. You could be dealing with a, another fire sign or earth sign here. Yeah. Yeah, so the person you're dealing with, you know, it's, it's definitely very, you know, immature. If they do contact you, it would just be like because they need like some entertainment or something like that. Or just want to have fun or, you know, simply like maybe just for their own little pleasure, you know. Or like I said, bored and maybe not had any other options here. Um, you know, your person doesn't like to lose. You know, I'm showing here with the Five of Swords. They want to always also feel like they have one step ahead of you, possibly. But if they do contact you, um, you know, they may contact you guys within the next month if they do contact you. Um, but like I said, it's a 50% chance that they'll call you before the end of February, and it's a 50% chance that they won't call you before. And because your person, they may feel like if they give in and contact you guys, they may feel like they're taking defeat, like they lose because they gave in and actually called you you know um and if they do call you it is because they probably just you know bored or something you know um and then i also i'm also showing that they're definitely going through like a tower moment so they could be you know drowned in emotions right now you know drowning in their own you know stress emotions burdens and then i'm showing that that's what they're kind of dealing with um but the fact that you know, with this tower, this is showing me that this person may, you know, like it's like a 60% chance they may call you before February and it's because they, you know, have a fear of change. Like they may not even want to go find anybody new, like I said, you know, so they may not even want to start over with somebody new here, you know, and they're definitely going through the works, you know. It's like they're not contacting you and it's, this is what they, like they're kind of going through now that they're not speaking to you or talking to you or dealing with you in this connection this is what they're going through so they may actually eventually you know come back in because of that reason and because they don't want to actually start over with anybody new but they may not contact right away because they don't want to feel like you know like they lost like they're the one that gave in first or whatever the case is you know um so yep yeah, so that's what i kind of see that's for my pisces here um Bless my Pisces. All right, so yes, so that's what I got for you guys today. Um, so don't forget to like, comment on the video there. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Um, yeah, and come back and comment, guys. Let me know how everything, you know, is going. Um, if possibly if any of these predictions came true or whatever the case is, comment, let me know, guys. Um, yeah and that's it don't forget to hit that bell as well so every time i post you guys will be one of the first ones to uh you know get that notification that i uploaded the video a video okay all right so all love coming from my way and i see you guys on the next one peace